Congratulations. Today is your day. We got five years. There will always be things in the way you dream. Five years. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Ankle Cast. I am Big Anklevich here, and uh, I've got five years. That's all I've got. Um, actually, I've got less than five years now, because I'm, you know, down like three months on that whole thing. Uh, so anyways, yeah, it's really late in the month for me to be doing my ankle cast, and I have to admit that I'm a little embarrassed. I'm a little, uh, I, I should have done better. Um, <clears throat> last night I got together with Rish Outfield at uh, doing our, our normal get-together thing and uh, we did a New Year's episode. It was our first time getting together after the turn of the year and we talked about goals and motivation and all that kind of stuff and I promised that this morning I would uh, do this ankle cast even though to tell you the truth I kind of wish I didn't have to because I'm listening right now to uh, James S. A. Corey's book called Leviathan Wakes, and it's really good. I like it, and I want to listen to it right now, but I can't because I'm doing this. So um, that's one of those problems with listening to audiobooks on my drive to work is it makes me not want to do things that I should, like podcasting on my drive to work. Maybe I shouldn't do that. It's probably dangerous, but I do it anyways because I live on the edge. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way to work and uh, I need to update you on my five-year plan, how it's going. Uh, so what happened this last year? Now, we, I've had, I've done a couple of these uh, um, ankle casts since I made my five-year plan and there's always been something that I fall flat on uh, for the first few times it's been publishing I was supposed to publish a story um, each month you know the first month I was supposed to figure out how to do it and publish that first one and then the next month I was supposed to do two the next month two and that way from from there on until I had all my stuff published uh, but I never managed to even get the first one done. I didn't, never managed to find the time to sit down and actually learn how it goes. So finally, last month, I forced myself to do that. I took the time to find out how it goes. And, uh, yeah, doing that was really cool because I was I was it was hard to do the first time it took me a while I went through it all and uh, then I finally got my first story published and then it was really simple just to copy and paste the text of my next story in there change you know the title change uh, a couple of other little things and then I could publish that one and I even uh, figured out how to do some extra stuff, like how to put the links so that you can click in the file and it will take you to the start of the story or it will take you to the about the author part or etc. And so I, by figuring all that stuff out and doing it the first time, I was able to do four stories really quickly in the month of December. And so, yeah, you can, uh, you can find on Smashwords my four stories. I put, uh, you know, posts up about them on my blog saying they were available. Um, one of the stories is one that you've never heard nor seen before. Uh, one that I wrote, I want to say it was October. It, it was the, like the first month of my five-year plan I wrote the story called Chloe, Joey, Zoe, and David Bowie. And um, I like it. I think it's a good story. 
um, and you're free to check it out, um, and hopefully you would enjoy it too. Um, pretty soon, I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to make sure I get a couple more published this month, and, uh, and keep going on that, and I, I hope to pretty soon have a collection of short stories available so, you know, you, you can get, I guess, more bang for your buck. That way, when you buy a collection, you get more stories. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get that going. And uh, in the collection, it will be interesting because I'll put some of those tiny little stories that I wouldn't feel right putting them out there and charging, you know, $3 for it, but adding it in as part of a collection, um, you know, that's cool. Anyways, uh, so all those stories are now available. That's the one thing I had good success with. I think I got about 5,000 words written in December. I can't remember for sure. Um, I did okay to start the month out. I was writing on uh, that story, the, the Halloween story that we did um, on the 13 nights of Halloween. We did a little uh, tale that was uh, written by Rich Outfield, the, you know, the, um, all the, it was an audio drama, so the dialogue was written by Rich Outfield, and I guess the story was constructed by Rich Outfield. And I knew that Rich would probably never get around to turning it into a prose story um, and so I thought it would be fun to do that for him and so yeah I jumped on that and I started you know writing it filling in that stuff uh, taking the dialogue and then adding in uh, all the description and all that kind of stuff until it became a story story and um, I'm almost done with that uh, but yeah, I kind of got derailed. In the middle of December, we had a week-long vacation. Uh, we went to San Diego, which was really, really nice. It was so wonderful. Um, normally, uh, it's snowy and crappy in the winter where I live. And winter gets you down. It really does. It sucks. And so uh, it's nice to be able to uh, go somewhere like San Diego. And I, I haven't been to San Diego since I was very young. I did go to San Diego and Sea World and all that stuff when I was like, I think, eight years old. I went to the zoo and, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I'm 40, so that's been 32 years since I went to San Diego last. <clears throat> and I've learned to appreciate it more in those 32 years. Um, it was, but yeah, it was really wonderful to be on the beach. The weather was, it wasn't amazing. I mean, it was December, so it's not going to be great weather, but it wasn't bad weather either. It was like, you know, 60 degrees. Uh, 70 degrees sometimes. We did have a couple days of rain, which uh, actually just served to help us out because, uh, you know, it rained like the, the overnight when we went to SeaWorld. And so when we went to SeaWorld, nobody was there. It was wide open. And we were able to just walk right into any place, anything. We, no line for the big roller coaster or any of that other stuff. And, uh, and it was their 50th anniversary this year, apparently. So they had, like, this surprise squad that would go around and give people, like, stuffed animals to kids and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, because nobody was there, we wound up being one of the people that was chosen to be surprised by the surprise squad. So that was neat. Um, and also there was somebody that was just out looking for... You know, here's some park guests to uh, help us feed the sea turtles. And, uh, 
Yeah, so we got to do that too. We got to take a bunch of lettuce and throw it down to the sea turtles so that they could uh, be fed. And, you know, these kind of things wouldn't have happened most likely if we were walking through a crowded park or even a mildly crowded park. Uh, but it was so sparsely attended that, um, yeah, we were able to just walk right out. You know, they even had a, a Santa Claus, you know, a, a Christmas village or whatever going on at the time. And, yeah, when we went to see Santa Claus, there wasn't a single person. We just walked right up to him, took a picture with him, and left. And that's always cool. Way better than going to the friggin' mall and having to wait, you know, a half hour in line and then pay $40 or whatever for your stupid picture with Santa Claus. So that was neat. Um, and it was really relaxing and really restful. I didn't, however, get any riding done while I was there. And so, and I even brought my stuff with me so I could ride. I brought my little tablet that has the uh, keyboard that connects to it. And um, I could have written probably but I was too busy relaxing I guess I don't know <laughs> maybe that was the start of my downfall was just the week of relaxing because after that I, I did, didn't write much uh, after that either I wrote here and there a little bit during the rest of the Dece of December but not very much and uh, yeah it wasn't I, I kind of fell on my face as far as that stuff goes. I got maybe 5,000 words for the month, which is at least 10,000 words less than the month before, I think. And, um, yeah, I, I felt pretty bad about that, but I still let myself get distracted because uh, when January started, I looked at my goals and I said, okay, I need to get back on this. I wrote January 1st but I haven't written since, and it's now January 13th. Um, so that's not cool. I have wasted, and I, and I got on and put my goal in on my spreadsheet for 20,000 words for this month on the Rotanorimo spreadsheet. And uh, you wanna know what that is? Well, then ask. Um, but yeah, I put it on the spreadsheet and I pledged to Dave Robison that um, I would write 20,000 words and I haven't written since the first day. So all I've got is 500 words. That's pretty sucky. So I told Rish last night, after confessing to having written nothing for the rest of the month, that I would still try to get my 20,000 words in, which means I'm going to have to write every day a fair amount I'm supposed to I'm gonna have to get a thousand words or more per day to be able to get to that goal so we'll see what I can do I'm gonna I'm gonna work at it I'm gonna see if I can achieve it um, so I think I mentioned last time around that I had lost some weight and I was going to try and get down even lower. I think I said I was trying to get to 280 by the end of the month. Unfortunately, vacation and holidays in general just kind of got me like they always do and I went back up instead of going further down. Um, at the start of the year, uh, I was on Facebook and Clay Duggar got on Facebook and he uh, was talking about how he had decided he was going to do a New Year's resolution and you know, oh, unfortunately it's not anything novel, it's just the same old thing that everybody does, he wants to lose weight, he said there's no good reason that he weighs 300 pounds and he needs to do something about it and make it stop and go away. And. Uh, he wants to lose 50 pounds and be down to 250. And I, and I commented on his thing and said, you know what, maybe I'll have to race you, see what we can do, because I weigh right about 300 pounds and I need to do that too. And he's like, all right, you're on. And immediately 
he made like a little private Facebook group for us and call, uh, that's a challenge, you know, the, the who will reach 250 first. And, uh, and yeah, he's been putting his weight on there every single day. And he's, he's, he's probably being more uh, faithful to it than I am. I, I keep having bad days. I'm not sure what the deal is. It seems like every time I try hard, I don't lose weight. When I don't try hard, if I screw up, if I have a soda or I eat a lot, then I do lose weight. So I, I'm getting really irritated and frustrated by that. Um, because who wants to, you know, eat, go without the stuff you like and gain weight and then, you know, have the stuff you like and lose weight? Obviously, you're going to decide to have the stuff you like. But the thing is, if I have too much of the stuff that I like, then I immediately start gaining weight too. Last night, me and Rish went out and had pizza and I had a lot of pizza and I gained weight. So there's that. I need to uh, lay off on the pizza when Rish and I get together. Not quite as much. I need to, to really uh, rein it in as far as that goes but yeah I need to get I'm, I'm back on it I'm gonna go for it I'm gonna totally whip Clay's ass <laughs> um, I'm gonna show him who's friggin big Anklevich the boss and um, and yeah so we will, uh, I, I will get working on that again. I think my biggest problem, what I was really running into that was killing me was that I wasn't eating enough, which is a weird problem to have when you're dieting. Um, but it's, it's a real problem. It happens. You, if you cut back too much, your body will hold on to weight a little bit. It won't, it won't, uh, use the fat. Um, and that's what I need. I need my body to be eating itself. So I need to eat the right amount of calories so that it will eat itself to uh, fill the gap. But if I eat too little, then it doesn't eat itself and that's not good. So yeah, I'm gonna get back on it and I'm gonna do my thing that I mentioned last time around where if I'm 100% good for the week, then I'm allowed to have soda with Rich when we go out on Monday nights. And uh, yeah, that's the only time I will be allowed to have soda. So if I want it, I gotta be good. And uh, I'm thinking I can do it. I'm thinking I can do it and I can really start gain, losing weight. It's interesting because I'm in this contest with Clay Duggar here, but also at work there's a guy who's decided that it's time to get going a work weight loss contest as well and so I think at the start of February is when that one will start we did this one a, a couple of years ago and I won the contest and I lost like 42 pounds or something like that so uh, it can be done and I can do it well um, and I'm gonna do it I have to try though the one thing that I found at the start of this year is when I concentrated all the time on make what I ate and losing weight and you know doing that kind of stuff I would ignore stuff like writing and I need to find a balance in between the two um, still pay attention to what I eat and on my workout and stuff but also work out with the computer and uh, work out the word count. So anyways, yeah, that's what we will, uh, I'm going to get going on all those things and uh, by next month you'll, you'll have an ankle cast much sooner than usual because this one took much longer to get there. The start of next month I'll do another one and we'll tell you how the rest of this month went, whether I made my 20,000 words what my weight is at and uh, and I'll tell you about maybe stories that I published that you can purchase if you would like 
All right. Thanks for listening, everybody. And uh, have a wonderful rest of the month. We'll see you next time. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Congratulations. Today is your day. You're off to a great place. You're off and away. Your goal should be a dream with a deadline. That's why I gave you five years. You miss 100% of the shots you never take. Take the shot. There will always be things in the way you dream. You go out and you find why not. You surround yourself with why not. Live a why not life, man. There are a million no's, but all you need is one yes. Where we are today is where we are. Today's the starting day. I know what we're going to do today. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. 98 and 3 quarters percent guaranteed. Dreams don't come true. Dreams are made true. Your mountain is waiting, so get on your way. Bye-bye, boys! Have fun storming the castle! Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye-bye!